Hi, let's get started. Today I'd like to see which of us can make the best security house. Mikey, have you finished building your security house yet? Of course I have. And you know what? I think you might actually be surprised at just how secure it really is. You better prepare yourself. Oh, that's awesome. I can't wait to see it. And even though I'm excited to see your security house, I'm even more excited to show off the super duper security house that I built. Super duper? Sounds awesome. Remember the rules, JJ? There's a secret treasure chest hidden in each security house, and it's our goal to find them. Is that right? Yep. We'll each get a chance to explore the other person's house and try to find the chest with the treasure inside. Let's start with my house, okay? Okay. Let's get going. I'll glide there on my Elytra. Okay, let's go. I have my Elytra, too. Oh. This is your house, Mikey? Yes, it is. Hold on, let me explain. This house has the best possible security measures. I've stored my treasure in a chest somewhere inside. Good luck finding it. I think that's all. I have a feeling you're gonna be surprised. Okay, I'm going first, so I'll try to defeat your security house and find that treasure. Where should I begin? Go! Maybe with some recon? Whoa! Surprised? Go, go, go! Go, go, go! The best defense is a good offense, so I'm going on the offensive. That's what I'm talking about. You can't even take a single step forward, can you, JJ? Well, be honest. Here's the thing. Dispensers can only fire in a straight line, Mikey. So I can avoid them if I go right in the middle. Say what? I can just step forward like this. But wait! No problem. There's more. To be honest, I always knew you'd get past my first trap. Ta-da! Did you see that? Look, it's so fun! Wow! Isn't it wonderful? Sure, Mikey, it's wonderful in everything. But I can avoid it just by walking huh? around it. Wait, what? Yep, you're right. No problem. I didn't expect that. Oh, it's still a good trap. Uh, oh, JJ, are you going inside? I'm afraid there aren't any more traps in there. Oh, how awful. My security house is undefended and JJ is going inside. What should I do? I guess he can just walk right through that door. Suspicious. What do I do? He's going inside. Oh, no! Go. Ah, oh, rats. He's in. Oh, it's completely undefended. My treasure is doomed. The chest is just sitting there, but something feels off about this. You're overthinking. It's just a regular treasure chest. Open it. There's something beneath it. It might be a dispenser. No. I think this chest is a dummy. <gasps> but it might actually have the treasure inside. Should I look? Of course. A dispenser? Here I go. Ready? Open. <laughs> what the? Oh! It's another trap. It's someone to husk. Oh, this is bad. I forgot about that. Yes. Huh? What? Oh, close one. How? I made it, Mikey. And it was all thanks to your own trap. For a moment, things were looking dangerous. I'm just <gasps> glad it worked out. Thanks for all the help. My last resort! <laughs> There's no last resort! I've got nothing left! Go back inside, JJ! Now that's suspicious! You still have to find the treasure! Hmm? Ah! Don't look up! Oh! No! There! That must be the real one! No, it isn't! Don't open that, JJ! Why not? Because I said so! Too bad! Don't do it! Three, two, one, open! <laughs> I was right! There's a diamond! I did it! I found the treasure! I have the treasure! Hey, Mikey! Aww. It flooded! How do I stop it? Oh. <laughs> Your security house seems pretty safe against zombies and creepers and husks and all that stuff. Let me try next round. All right, sounds good to me. I think you'll be able to clear it. Now then, let's head over to my security house. Okay, Mikey, it's finally time for you to try and tackle my security house. That one over there. Whoa, it's lovely! You can start from here. I need to apologize in advance. Why? I already saw! The pressure plates! I noticed them! Sorry, JJ, I wanted you to trick me! This is a trap for sure! What did you see? The pressure plates and the dispensers! I saw everything! I'm sure of it. The dispensers are gonna shoot arrows at me, right? But they only shoot the arrows straight ahead! I've seen it all! What are you gonna do about it? I just avoid the sides and walk down the center. Sorry to waste your... Ah, 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 huh? That was weird! <laughs> hmm? What? What? Oh, I'm stuck! That's no fair! These dispensers are special. They have three holes. Oh, I thought those were just part of the design. <laughs> <laughs> Why? 
These dispensers are a unique variety. They can shoot three horizontal arrows at a time, which means they have a pretty wide range of attack. There's no way through! Think hard about what you just learned. Got it! All right! <laughs> Whoa, that works, I guess. Your other option was to tackle it from the side. Jump across here. My way seems way better, though. Look, it's just so simple. Easy peasy. There. Do it whatever way you want. Let's go. Go on ahead, Mikey. Oh, I know. Huh? I see it. <laughs> oh, the chest. So this is it? I guess it must be. I forgot to mention one thing. What is it? Inside my security house, I have one treasure chest and a ton of dummy chests. So be careful. It's here. I know it. Sorry, JJ, but the treasure is mine. Sure. Okay. Three. <laughs> this is it. Two. One. Open. Nothing? Wait. Wait. What? Mikey. What is this? You're in trouble. Dad! You're going to drown in the water trap unless you get out of there. But... Air! Oh, no way! Break out, Mikey! That's all you need to do! I need some time to think! Good luck! I'm taking damage! Uh-oh! Use the door, Mikey! <laughs> Close one! Whoa! Safe! I would have drowned if it weren't for your advice! I thought it was over! That was another of my secret dummy chests. When you open it up, it activates a water trap. Thanks for telling me! I'll return the favor with these! <laughs> I don't need those, but just in case. I collected those from the husk. There's another chest! Oh yeah, that one. Maybe it's dangerous. This is the one. Hmm? Huh? Ow! <laughs> you were caught in the trap, Mikey! Have you noticed how I laid all the traps out? Oh, be careful! It missed! Owie! The spikes popped out! Those spikes are super dangerous. Oh, I get it now. Huh? You get it. Ah! Oh, that's a good idea. Speed! So easy! Now, JJ, yes? that trap is behind me now, and I've successfully reached the chest. Do you know what that means, JJ? No, what? This is the chest with the treasure inside! No doubt! Or to put it simply, this is the only chest you made it past my security to find. That's exactly what I'm saying! I guess I'm gonna help myself yeah, now. Yeah, I guess so. Wait. Huh? You're assuming a lot. Your voice leaves me no doubt. <laughs> Three, two, one. Huh? What? Hey! What is it? A lever! You finally found it, Mikey. What do I do with it? I remember! Huh? I'm a detective! Whoa! Whoa! Oh! Oh! Hey, I got it! I knew it all along! Good job! Thank you! That door was locked shut, but I made a way for you to open it with the lever. There's nothing in here, except for a bookshelf. Yep, that's a bookshelf, all right. But look next to the bookshelf. Hmm? Huh? A lever! Another one! Three, two, one! I heard something! What was that? <laughs> Mikey, huh? look! Oh! Oh, a hidden door? Let's go! The bookshelf is a secret entrance. Empty. You'd think so. Oh, I found it, JJ. Should I activate it? Sure. Three, two, one. Oh, I knew it. This is obviously the goal. Wow, this must be it. Is it, though? What's this? Hmm? This is the treasure, right? I'm not sure, but there's nothing else here. Well, it certainly appears that way, doesn't it? You gonna open it or not? I've been through so much already. I'm not afraid anymore. I want to know what's in here. Whether this is the treasure or not, I'm gonna open it, JJ. You sure? I'm doing it. I need to know what's in there once and for all. Three, two, one, open. Ah! <laughs> A key, diamonds, and cake. I'm taking all the cake and diamonds. That wow. means you found the treasure, Mikey! Congratulations! This is delicious! You picked up the key, right? Yep. As long as you're holding on to it, the security isn't going to target you anymore. Say what? As long as you've got that key, none of the traps will attack you. Really? You won't be attacked. I want to try! Sure. Oh, and one more thing. What is it? This isn't actually my house. It belongs to Carrie. This is Carrie's house? Let's go. Whoa! The lever's right there. Unlock it, JJ. Oh, yeah. And that's the exit.
Well, let's get started. We're here at a tiny village. A tiny village? Oh, there's a villager living here. What are we doing here? Well, today, we're gonna have a security building competition. Oh, cool! Let's show how to build the best security systems ever! But how are we competing here? In a little while, this village is going to be attacked by raiders. What? So, how about the security system that best defeats the invaders is the winner? Raiders? Leave them to me! With my security know-how, those raiders will be gone in no time! I'll fight them off! <laughs> oh, I forgot something important! Does the winner get a prize? Oh, I didn't think about that. Well, this time, let's have the prize be ice cream. Ice cream? I love ice cream! I'm definitely going to win! I'm going to start billing first. Good luck then. Let's get started. Let's do it. JJ, I'm ready. Oh, give me a quick tour, Mikey. Sure thing. Check this out. An extravagant two-story house. Oh, it doesn't look like a two-story house. Well, see? Two floors. No kidding. Also, yeah, these are my secret weapons. Mm, what? Pew, pew, pew! Pew, pew, pew! Cool, right? I can hit far away enemies with these. I'll fight them off with rapid fire. That's a lot of firepower. Great, right? Plus... Yeah? That's not all. Go on. Watch this. Okay. Three, two, one. How do you like my pitfall traps? Pitfall traps? If they get too close, I'll drop them all in the pits! So you'll attack far off enemies with your rapid fire arrow contraptions, and if they get too close, you'll drop them in the pits! You got it, JJ! And to top off my perfect security system. Yeah? Ta da! Ta da! Oh! Not a single enemy will set foot inside this house, and even if they do, I'll be there with my sword to fight them off! Ksh, ksh. That all looks pretty good. Protect your villager, Mikey. Leave it to me, JJ. I'm absolutely gonna win. Well, the raiders could be here soon. Mikey, the raiders are coming. All right, don't panic. Apples are delicious. Good luck. They're here? Where? Here they come. Oh, I have my secret weapons ready to go. Oh. Let's go. Go, Mikey. A little closer. Take this. Huh? Oh. They're here. <laughs> Nothing's hitting. Pitfall. The pitfalls, the pitfalls. What? Are you kidding me? Ah, one fell in. At least one fell in. It worked. <laughs> Hang in there. I have to knock them in. Oh. What? Oh, come on. Keep it up! Mikey, you're full of arrows! Uh, no, I'm not! Go, go, go! Ah! Seriously? Oh! Why me? Hey! Mikey, you can do it! I want to get at least one! Ah! Huh? Huh? Are you kidding me? Mikey, you fell into your own pitfall trap! This hurts! Oh, no! Hey! Time out! Time out! Mikey! Oh. oh! I totally failed. Well, it was a good try, Mikey. Your pitfall trap didn't really catch them, though. But don't beat yourself up about it. Now it's my turn. I'll do my best to build some amazing security. Those were tough enemies. It's gonna be hard to fight them off. Even for you, JJ. Well, good luck. Thanks. I'll try. Let's get started. Get to it! I'm done. Oh? This time, Mikey, I've prepared four secret security systems. What? Secret security systems? What are they? Still, even for you, this is going to be a rough battle. I'm worried for you. Well, good luck. Mine is also a two-story house. I guess I'll go up. No kidding. All right, all right. Ready to go. Now to wait for the raiders. Oh, 
They're coming! Good luck, JJ! I wonder which direction they'll come from. Oh! Here they come! They're really strong! All right, what should I do first? How are you going to fight them from far away? Do you have any high-powered arrow shooting devices? Like I did? I'll hit them with this! Take that! Ah! What was that? What? Go, go, go! That's your first secret weapon? They're going down! What? No way! Woo! Two left! <laughs> My bow and arrows make lightning and explosions! Where are they? Are you serious? Where are they? No, oh, shoot! I fell off! Oh, no! Another one down! Behind you! Look behind you! Huh? Yikes! Overpowered much? <laughs> I hit myself! Heading back inside. It's safe there. Wow! That bow was too powerful! Incredible, right? Let me even the odds. Hmm? Can I add more enemies? More enemies? Sure. I still have secret weapons left to use. Might as well use my second one. Attack! Get him! What should I do? Right. I have to use this secret weapon. What? Three, two, one, go! Yes! Attack! What? Oh, good! Good, good, good! <laughs> Sweet! My Iron Golem Builder activated! Woohoo! I'll use this, too. Whoa! Isn't that a little much? Iron Golems, attack! Whoa! Oh, nice, nice! I'll take down the distant enemies, and the Iron Golems can take care of the rest. No way! Whoa, Ravagers? Mikey's trying to release enough to beat me! Wow, excellent! Do you give up, JJ? There's no way you can handle this many enemies! I won't even spawn anymore! You'll stop spamming enemies? Sure! Hmm... What now? Well, I'm not giving up just yet, Mikey. This isn't the best situation, but I still have two more secret weapons remaining. I guess I'll use my third ultimate secret weapon. Huh? Take this! Three, two, one, go! Oh, that is sweet! Uh, what just happened? I used the ultimate pitfall trap. Oh, there's still one left. I'll handle that one myself. Take this! Attack! How are you so strong? Hey, what's up with that bow? Yeesh! Woohoo! Your security house is incredible, JJ. I lose. Hang on, Mikey. Another raid is coming? Huh? Get inside! I'm scared! But... Right! It's safe in here! Hmm? What's this? Here! Oh! That? Oh, that's a shelter. There's a shelter down there. We can hide there if it gets too dangerous. Oh! Then what's that? Hmm? This! Oh, that? Yeah! That's my final secret weapon. Oh? You see the lever in there? Yeah? That's only meant to be touched in a real emergency. Huh? Your final secret weapon? For emergency use only? That's so cool! Oh, but the raiders are coming now! Yep. This could be your only chance to use it! Hang on, Mikey. Wait, 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 wait. That lever activates my most powerful security system. It's not meant for this low of a threat. It's really dangerous, so don't touch it. Aww, but if you tell me not to touch it... It makes me want to touch it even more! Bam! Uh, yeah! Shoot, Mikey! We need to hide in the shelter right now! Fun! Hurry up, Mikey! I'm going! Hooray! Go, go, go! Seriously, why did you touch that? Get in the shelter! Here.
What? Wait. I came to Mikey's today to hang out, but... Hey, Mikey! Mikey, open up, pal! Mm -hmm. Oh, hey! What's up? Open the door! Sure! Mm. Oh, thank you. There! Huh? This is your place? By the way, why is your house surrounded by a massive fence? Why? Yeah? For security! I made it to protect myself from thieves and zombies and any other terrible things that try to get me. I see. Yeah, that makes sense. It looks like it'll keep you really safe. I know! Guess what, JJ? I'm planning on making something way cooler than this. Way cooler? All right. What about this, Mikey? Let's make the strongest security system ever. It'll be so strong that we won't be afraid no matter what comes. That sounds great, JJ! Let's do it! Okay, let's get started on the strongest security house ever built. Come on! I imagine that this security house would be really modern and new. After all, if it's going to be the strongest security, we have to include lasers and traps. Yeah, that sounds good! Let's make some strong defenses so we can rest easy. What should we make first? Well, since we're talking about security, I think we should make something that's worth protecting. Sounds good! There. See this treasure chest? This will be the main thing we're protecting. Let's put valuables in. Oh, like what? Actually, I'll check in and see what you put in later. I'm still pretty curious about what's inside, though. It's important to plan ahead, but I think I'll focus on the house for now and the security later. All right, let's make this house modern. First, we're going to cover the entire floor with quartz blocks. Amazing! It sure is, Mikey. Let's take a quick look at it now. Now then, let's get building. Yeah! Let's build up the first floor from around here. Like this. We need to make a couple of pillars. Mm. Very nice. This means the frame for the first floor is finally finished. And now the base for the second floor is all filled in. We did it! The second floor should be extra fancy. Let's do it! Yeah! Fancy, fancy, fancy! Also, the second floor has lots of space we can use up. Come on! Hmm? You mean like this? Yeah. Huh. How's that? Something along those lines. The first two floors are a little stiff and square, so I thought it might be best if we added some curves to the third floor. Plus, I was thinking we could include a giant U-shaped window somewhere around here. But how? I also want to change the color. Let's use blackstone. We'll make sure the U-shape is enormous. Like this. We finished building our masterpiece. Sweet! Next, let's start putting glass up towards the ceiling. All right. How's that? This looks so incredible! I want to live in here! It looks really good already, but we still need to work on the interior. Let's go! In here is the treasure chest we gotta protect. Yeah, it's the most important part of our plan! We should build a cage around it. Whoa! No one can reach it now! Yep, that's good. Now, with these iron bars, our treasure chest is completely secured. We did it! I'm glad that's done with. Next, let's build up some more of the interior. We'll install our defenses last, so for now, let's just decorate inside the first floor. We still need to put in a living room and a kitchen. You can set up the chairs in there, and I'll build the kitchen over here. Okay! All right. I'm using this fire and making a stove. Now then... Good job! I'm going to put a smoker right beside it. And then a cauldron. And then finally, I'll make a fridge. This tripwire hook will be our faucet. And we'll just ignore the fact that it's coming out of the fridge. All right, it looks like we're finally finished. Wow, this really is a full-on kitchen! Now it's finished. Did you make a couch over here, Mikey? Wow, it's amazing! We'll need a dining table too, so let's make one right here. I'll make it like this. There. Because it's so close to the kitchen, we can eat our meals right after we cook them. So fancy! This house is awesome! Yeah. And here's the bedroom. The bedroom's important. I want to make it relaxing. Let's put wood in here. This room is super elegant! Yeah, that's true. Here's a lantern. Oh, it looks like it started raining. 
Wait! You're forgetting an important part of the bedroom. Hmm? Look, what do you do before you go to bed? What? Read a book, right? Ah, <laughs> that's right! Yeah, books! Oh yeah, I almost forgot about reading. How could I? That's a lot of bookshelves. Okay, the bedroom's done. All done. Next, we should figure out a way to get outside. Isn't there a way to get outside from here? Do you need to get outside? Hmm. We could make a secret door! Okay, let's get inside, but we'll try and go this way. All right, how was that? It's kind of obvious, but it's still a secret door. Yeah, it still is. Just through the vines. Hm. Go through the green? <laughs> green means go, right? Yeah, green means go. So you can head straight through the vines to enter. Green means go. Go through the green. Green means go. <laughs> All right, we finished the inside of the second floor. Where on the third floor should we set up our study? How's that? Here. Cool, thanks. Our eyes will get worse if there's no light. Studying in the dark is bad for you. Well, it seems like we're all finished in here. It looks really great now that it's done. All done. Do you have any idea what we're doing next? Next? Oh, yeah. It's time to upgrade the security, isn't it? Yep. Security time! Now, let's make some security for the treasure chest. I just need to decide on some security devices that we're going to use. Like what? What'll you pick? Let's dig a hole. Sure, let's do it. Now we'll put in the lava, Mikey. Lava? Let's put lava everywhere, except on the house, got it? Ooh. I guess that means we finished our lava moat security. How exactly do people get in? Jumping? Yeah, jumping. Yeah. There, see? Does that mean we're done? Nope, not yet. What else? We're forgetting something really important, Mikey. We need a beacon. And some pink colored glass. And finally, a few iron blocks. There, it looks perfect! This house is incredible! We finished the lasers. Our house is super secure. Amazing, amazing, amazing! Now all that's left to do is build security for the inside of the house. We need to punish any robbers who try and steal from the treasure chest. I want to set up an elaborate trap. I'm going to put a lever system here, and whenever it gets pulled, the robbers will fall into a pit. This means I'll have to do a lot of digging before the trap is complete. They'll fall down here, and they'll be stuck inside forever. Whoever's trying to steal our treasure will hit this switch, like this, and the floor falls out from underneath them. Oh, wow! That's the coolest thing ever! All right. That means now we need to start thinking about where they're going to land when they fall. Huh? What's this? When the robbers fall down, they'll think, oh, treasure, and try to open it. Then, bang! Is that TNT? I can't believe you put a trap chest on top of the TNT. Awesome! It's not a chest, but it sure looks real. Ah, <laughs> perfect. Now then. We're finished. Yeah, the pitfall trip is complete. We also put in that dummy chest for good measure. OK, I think we have the best security possible. Now I'll explain everything. Yeah, explain. Whoa. So on the outside, we put in some pink laser beacons. Careful. I don't want to touch them. Right, or you'll take damage. These beams are also a really good way to intimidate any nearby enemies. Yeah, that's true. Next up, we have a lava moat surrounding the entire building. Nice. Any zombies or spiders or creatures that can't jump will fall straight in like this. And if we fall in, the pool's right there. Wow, so strong! We'll cool off right away. Okay, next we go inside the living room. The kitchen's over there. Our couch is the best place to relax under our fancy light source. It's like art. Yeah, like art. Here's our treasure chest. The treasure, however, is still a mystery. Only Mikey knows what's inside. Yeah, I think it's good enough for now. Great. If a thief shows up, he'll think to himself, oh, if I pull the lever, I'll unlock the cage and I can get a hold of the treasure. But when he pulls it... Ah! Ah! Ouch! <laughs> Perfect! He'll fall through the sand and then think to himself... Another chest! Lucky! And then he'll open it... But that's what will trigger the TNT underneath it! Whoa! Wow! Just like that! Well, as long as we're in here, we'll be safe from zombies. We could even relax on the couch if we wanted to. This is the best house ever. The best! Hmm. 
Looks like we really made the ultimate security house. We'll be fine no matter how many zombies or robbers show up. We showed them! If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave us a like and subscribe to our channel. And try to build your own security houses to see how they turn out. See ya! Bye bye oh! Run, Mikey! Well then, let's get started. Rumor has it that an army of wither skeletons will attack us tonight. Our solution is to construct an anti-wither skeleton security system for our house. We need defenses right away! Wither skeletons are no joke! Right. That's why we're building six different security measures to protect us. Let's go! Great! What's number one? Number one is a cactus pufferfish defense system. Let's build it. We'll use cactus, which are plants that are covered in spikes. It hurts if you bump into one. Yep. That's why we'll use cactus, just like this, to cover the perimeter of our house. The thick layer of cactus will act as a protective barrier. Well, it's possible to pass between the cactus, and it's likely that the wither skeletons will be able to walk straight through and up to our house. That's why I'm digging a hole in the ground between the cactus and filling the hole with water to make a moat around the property. It'll be the spikiest mode ever. Nice! Wow, great plan! That's good enough, right? The Cactus Pufferfish defense system is complete. Now then, I think a giant pitfall trap will be a good choice for number two. Pitfall? In the unlikely event that any wither skeletons break through our Cactus Pufferfish defense system... Yeah? I was thinking we might want to drop them into a really big hole. Cool! Like this. Perfect. Wow! We finished with the hole. It's so deep! It's a massive pitfall trap! Whoa, sweet! Time to set up the rest of the trap. First off, we'll need lots and lots of TNT. Then we're gonna need some sand, a bit of redstone, and a few repeaters. Oh! I think it's supposed to go like this. That's good! Well? This is how we're gonna build the trap. All right, I'll finish it off with a lever right here. Sure! Almost done? Almost. Just a little more. Sure. Does that look all right? Hmm. Okay. To make it easy to tell where the trap is, the next step is to mark off the edge of where the trap begins. Good idea! Let's mark it off with gold blocks. All finished! It's done! Now then, all of the space inside of the gold lines is the pitfall trap. So whatever happens, stay out of it. We're gonna trap every wither skeleton that walks over it. Yay! Now our second security measure is finished! Sweet! Number three, Iron Golem Security Guards. Just in case our first two security measures fail, I'd like to add another layer to our defenses. I think we should hire some bodyguards. Bodyguards are reliable. Yeah, but when I say bodyguards, I really mean Iron Golems. As for materials, we'll need fences, sticky pistons, redstone, repeaters, and a lever. Last but not least, we'll also need some iron blocks and pumpkins too. With all this, we can make our very own Iron Golem Ranch. Does that sound good to you, Mikey? Cool! We can leave the Iron Golems here to stand by until we finish building everything. Then, if the Wither Skeletons manage to break through our defenses, we'll open the gates and have the Iron Golems to fight for us! There! Wow! Awesome! This lever opens both gates. Nice! Nice! Now we can finish the golems you prepared, Mikey. Just place the pumpkin heads on the iron blocks to create iron golems. Wow! I feel so safe! Number four, a beacon. What's the scariest thing about wither skeletons? Uh, they're really strong? Well, they're really, really strong. Wither skeletons' combat abilities are way better than most other mobs. <sighs> As for us, we don't stand a chance unless we can become stronger. That's why we need to make a beacon. Sure. Let's make our beacon out of gold this time. Oh, fancy. Uh, wait a sec, Mikey. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Make it nine by nine. Okay. Now to place the beacon on the very top of the pyramid. Oh, awesome. The power is flowing through me. The last thing I need to do is insert a gold ingot into the beacon. Then I can activate our special bonuses. Wonderful! For our first power-up, let's start with regeneration. Then for the second one, let's do resistance. Let's do it! The next thing we need to think about is a shelter. Yeah! We can use obsidian as our shelter's building materials. Should we build it on top of the house? Oh, sure! Even the floor is obsidian. Cool! Number six, a massive TNT block. What? Number six will be super dangerous, so be extra careful while we build it. I will! Obviously, we'll need to prepare some TNT. 
For our other materials, we'll need quite a bit of white wool, red wool, and black wool. We're gonna use them to create an enormous TNT block. We'll lay it out next to the house like this. There. It needs to look like TNT. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Whoa, that's big! Yep. We'll use the colored wool to construct the TNT pattern. This is probably gonna take a while. I'll help you. TNT. Whoa. Wow. Sweet. All right. Yay, we did it. Uh, not yet. The TNT isn't complete yet because... Yeah? Why? Because we haven't filled it in with TNT yet. Come on, Mikey. Let's do this thing. Let's do it. I'll help you. All right, the TNT is all filled in now. We just need to cover it. Uh, careful not to set it on fire. I'll be careful. I don't even have anything that can start fires. Perfect. Look, wither skeletons. What? They're coming already? Looks like they brought a whole army to raid us. Whoa, you're right. It's an entire army. Go, oh, oops, pufferfish poison. Ouch! You okay, Mikey? I've been We'll have to jump the gap. Oh, it worked! Yes! Jump! I made it. Do they see us? Not yet. Let's get closer to lure them in. I'm scared. Well? They still don't see us? What? They just don't care. Are they actually friendly? Is that a thing? No, hang on, we've been spotted. They're coming! Mikey, jump over the moat. It's gonna be okay. They'll never be able to get through. Whoa, what the? Oh, you gotta be kidding me right now! Wow! Uh, get away from me! Quick, Gigi, get out of Some there! Some of them are breaking through! That's not good! You okay? I'm still alive! I'm fine! Whoa! Hey, uh, try to draw them into the pitfall trap! How many are there? At least a bunch of them are falling. This is bad! Here goes! There! The pitfall trap has been activated! Oh, no, 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 no! <laughs> Whoa! Ah, there are even more now! What do we do? We use the pitfall trap. Mikey, there's no choice. It's time to release the iron golems! Let's do it! Release! Release them! Oh! -ho. Let's go, iron golems! Fight! Ouch! I'm hurt! Alright, face the power of our iron golems. Whoa! Watch them go! Oh. Wait a sec, we're losing golems, Mikey! Impossible! They're too strong! Are you sure? Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh, let's retreat to the house for now, Mikey. These golems are done for. Get inside! Hurry, get in here! Hang on! They're right on my tail! There are too many! You'll be okay, the beacon! I don't think I'll make it! Ah! Mikey, no! Sheesh! Oh, you barely made it. I hate to say it, but I think we're finished. The house, too? We prepared too much for this to happen! There's no choice. Even though we built all those security measures, we still got overrun by the Wither Skeleton Army. What do we have left? Our last resort. Let's <gasps> go to the shelter. It's time for the last resort? The only option we have left is to detonate the massive TNT block. I'm afraid there's no other way. All right, Mikey, are you ready to do this thing? Yeah. First, we light the flames. Flames? Then shoot our arrows through the fire. Hit the TNT. Oh, look, it's lit. Look! Huh? Will it work? Where's the boom? Huh? The flames are spreading! I think it's gonna... Whoa! There it goes! It's exploding! Whoa! Will it destroy them? I've never seen an explosion this big before! Wow! I don't want to get caught in the blast! What's going on out there? I can't see! No way! The paintings! I don't believe it! They got blown off the walls! Wow! That's crazy! Oh! Huh? What? Hold on, it's finally over? Wow, that explosion was enormous. I want to check it out. But if we drop from this height, we could take some heavy fall damage. Yeah. Oh, we have this! Some water! Pour it in the hole, Mikey! Sure. Yes! Thanks. I'm heading down. What do you see? Wow! What happened here? Careful! Wow! Whoops! Yikes! There! What the? Huh? Wow, check it out! 
By hiding in our obsidian shelter, we managed to avoid any damage from the massive explosion. As for the Wither Skeletons, we successfully destroyed them all. I'd say today was a huge success. Yeah, I agree. Hmm. Phew. With that said, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like and subscribe. Bye. See you next time. Bye-bye. All right, take a look at this. Our new house is finally finished. Wow, what a nice house. And a great location. We'll have a happy life building a village here. Yeah, with this house as the start of a new village, we can live in peace. Fantastic. Hang on, what's that sound? Uh... There's an emergency news alert on the TV. Let's check it out. It's about to start. What could it be? Let's see. Hmm? Uh, what's going on? Huh? Huh? What? Uh. This is bad, Mikey! What? A mysterious wriggle monster just attacked a village nearby. Uh-oh. And according to the reporter, that monster is headed this way next. What? After we finished building our peaceful home? What do we do? Hmm. Hmm? Well, Mikey, we should have at least six hours before the Wriggle Monster reaches us. We have until then to build some security. Let's fight off the Wriggle Monster. Yeah! Let's fight it! What kind of security will we build? The Wriggle Monster is huge. Yeah. It's so big, we need to build a wall big enough to surround the entire house. Of course. Yep. Let's do it! So, let's build a gigantic wall! Let's build it! Yeah! How's this? Whoa! Look at that wall! It's massive! That's just one section! It's huge! Our walls need to be quite thick. It's thick! I think it's five, actually six blocks wide, so it's pretty solid. And it's also about ten blocks tall. At that height, it should be tall enough and thick enough. I think we have a pretty good wall. No way the Wriggle Monster can break through this wall. Hmm. It's the strongest wall ever. Yeah. Whoa. Now we have to build off what we have so far. OK. Let's surround the house with walls. Let's do it. Do our best. The very best. <laughs> All right. <sighs> Check it out! Whoa. It took us a while, but we did it! Yeah! The house is completely surrounded by large, sturdy walls. That took a whole hour to make! But now we should be safe and sound behind these walls, right? Nobody can get through. Well, Mikey... Hmm? Sure, but we built our perfect house together, and I don't want to see anything happen to it. And since I don't want it getting smashed, just in case... Yeah? We should build some more anti-wriggle monster security. Oh. For starters, let's see here. We'll need this and that. Uh, start with these. Hmm, is that right? Yep. How's it look? What's this? Hmm. What are you doing? And ta-da! <laughs> let's build some iron golems. Of course! Iron golems are the toughest troops around. Maybe the iron golems will defeat the wriggle monster for us? They can take it, no problem! Yeah! Oh! Iron Golems are the strongest soldiers out there! They're the ultimate security force! They'll probably beat the Wriggle Monster for us! They'll protect our walls! Amazing! There's something else I want to build. Follow me. What is it? Don't you think we have enough protection already? No, Mikey, it's not enough. We need to be ready for anything. I was thinking of using lava as a security measure. Oh! Hmm, how about this? Good, good. Okay. That's how wide our lava defense will be. Now to fill it up. It won't make it across this much lava. Right? There's no way. Hey, hey! I doubt even the giant wriggle monster will be able to cut across this much lava. Nope, nope, no! Although, we can't make it across ourselves either, so we'll have to fix that. First, we'll raise this part up and then... Put a ladder here. Then, in the middle of the lava, some slime blocks. 
I see what you're doing. Now you can climb up here, jump on the slime blocks, and bounce across. Now we have a way to make it through. That's right! And the Wriggle Monster won't be able to cross the lava! The Wriggle Monster won't make it to the other side. It's perfect! I'll put one on this side, too. It's great! Haha! <laughs> Amazing! Yeah! So we're done? Awesome! I guess this should be enough. It's more than enough! That Wriggle Monster is going down! Well, let's take it easy and get some sleep while we wait. Hmm. Mikey, hang on, hang on. Hmm? We can't be too safe. Just in case, we need to make the ultimate weapon. Something 100% effective that works on any enemy. We still have about five hours left in the day. A weapon that's absolutely effective against any enemy? What is it? You'll see. Let's start at the back of the house. Huh? First, get a shovel ready, okay. Mikey. Okay. We'll use our shovels to dig a hole in the ground. A really deep hole. Sure. How's this? How big should we make it? It should be pretty big. Let's make it a crazy deep hole. Let's do our best. Yeah. So let's make it about this big and really deep. It might take us a while. Let's dig. We can do it. Yeah. I'm tired. <sighs> we dug it all up. But we still have two hours left. That's fine. Take a look over here. We dug a hole so deep, it drops straight into the void. But still, yeah? what would fall into a hole that they can clearly see? Don't worry. We're going to convert this into a giant pitfall trap. To do that, we'll need TNT and sand. Yeah? And we'll use redstone dust and some repeaters. Yep. First, uh, maybe here? Sure. All right. On this layer, we'll place the TNT. Let's completely cover the hole with TNT. Okay. Just like this. Yeah. All right. Great. We covered the hole. Next, we place a layer of sand, covering the layer of TNT. Sure. Just place the sand? Cover it up with sand. That's the way. Good, good. Keep at it. Yeah. Okay. Wow! Okay, that's done. Layer placed. All right, the last okay. one. To finish, we'll cap it off with another layer of sand. Now to line the sides with repeaters, like this. Nice. And it becomes... The ultimate weapon! Whoa! The ultimate weapon! <laughs> then... Um, that should work. Yeah. <gasps> Is that a good spot to leave it? Looks good. Good. Now to cover up all of this. Oh, perfect. Perfect. All done. Yep. We'll just leave this spot open. Okay. That should be everything. It's done. So now, when we pull the lever, all of the sand should drop away. Amazing. Then, everything standing on top of that area will fall straight into the void. Our ultimate weapon is complete. Yep. That means we've completed all of our security measures. We still have two hours left until the Wriggle Monster comes. Ugh, I'm exhausted. The monster could show up at any time. Hmm? Huh? Really? Huh? It's the Wriggle Monster! It's here? Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Hang on, we gotta move! Hurry! The secret door is open. Oh, get yourself equipped. Oh, Wriggle Monster. Huh? The Iron Golems are even stronger than I thought. They can win! It's no problem for them. They're beating it? Too easy. I'll give support. Piece of cake! I'll support too. We can do it. It's taking damage. Attack! The walls were so thick. Attack! Seriously? Oh, the walls oh. melt away like butter. Oh, no! The iron golems are all down. It's coming! The lava should do it! The lava is so wide! We'll be fine! It'll try to get across. We'll be fine! There's no way it can cross! What? What? How? What now? Ah! I knew it couldn't cross the lava! I knew it! The wriggle monster's regenerating too fast! Can we beat it? 
Once it's on the sand, it's not safe for you on the sand now, Mikey. Right. Once it reaches the sand, come to the sand. I'll activate the pitfall trap. Ah! Huh? Ah! Whoa! What? Ah! What? What was that? What just happened? Seriously? What happened? Oh no! Hold up, it's still alive. That was supposed to be our ultimate weapon. Uh. Huh? Uh. Huh? Um. I guess the wriggle monster. The wriggle monster slipped? It fell off? Into the void! <laughs> Real? <laughs> well, our house may have been completely wrecked, but at least the wriggle monster fell into the void. Even if it slipped on its own. What a relief! We fought off the wriggle monster. If you enjoyed today's video, please make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks! Bye bye! Thanks for watching! Bye!